here, wow. welcome, my name is Jen. For today's look, I've decided to play with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It's the Shadow Couture World Traveler palette and I'm very satisfied with the way it is looking. It is not too dramatic, but at the same time, there's a little oomph to it. I really hope you will enjoy this video. If you wanna know how I achieve this look, keep on watching. I'm starting this tutorial by priming my eyelids. I'm using the She All-in-One Concealer in the shade White, and I mix that using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. For this tutorial today, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. And my first transition shade that I'm using is Morocco. Next, under Morocco, in my crease, I will be using Fudge. I am really taking my time to blend fudge into Morocco so it is seamless and well blended. I will be cutting my crease using the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. The first shade that I will be using in the inner part of my lids is Spoiled. Wow. Next to Spoiled, I will be using the shade Intense Gaze, which is a pink shimmery shade. And next to Intense Gaze, I will go in with this purple shade, which is Earl Loom. And a little tip is um, when you're adding all these colors on your lids, make sure that you blend all the colors in between so it makes a beautiful gradient effect. I really wanted to smoke out my outer part of my lid, so I went in with the shade Noir, which is a black shade, and I added this shade a little bit at the time because it can get very messy when playing with black. I am taking my time building the intensity and blending this out. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I went back in with the shade Fudge, which is the brown shade, to define my crease a little more. I wanna jump right in because I have lost some footage. So for foundation, I have used the Fit Me Shine Free Plus Balance Foundation. And I have used two colors. Um, the lightest shade that I have used in my highlighted areas is uh, cappuccino number 340 on my face where i usually contour i have used the darkest shade which is coconut 355 mm. to highlight my face i have used the master conceal by maybelline in the color medium and to contour which i've already blended i have used the la girl pro conceal hd concealer in the color dark cacao yeah so i wanted to give you the information before i move on with the rest of the makeup 
Now I am spritting my beauty sponge with the Vagin Labs Glow Vitamin C plus Magnesium Facial Mist because um, the concealer was sitting for a while on my face. So I wanted to blend the concealer out with my damp sponge. Next, to set my highlighted areas, I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder in the wow. shade Medium Deep. 30 and to set the remaining of my face I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder in the shade Coconut 355 to contour my cheekbones and my forehead and my nose as well I will be going in with this BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette and I will also be using the pink shades of this palette for blush. Now, as usual, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Now, on my lower lash line, I'm going back with the shade Fudge, which I will be blending out using the shade Morocco. In my inner tear dot, I will go in with this beautiful shimmery shade, which is Pink Champagne. Wow! For highlighter, I am using the Balm Highlighter in the shade Betty Lou Manizer, and I will be highlighting uh, the top of my cheekbones my nose, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. For lip liner, I'm going in with the Nika K Lip Liner in the shade Coffee. For lipstick, I will first go in with the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Honey Bear. And I wasn't satisfied with the way it was looking, so I went in with the LA Girl Matte Pigment Gloss in the shade Fantasy. And this thing is so hard to blend, so I went in with my fingers. And finally, on top of that, I went in with my lip gloss from the beauty supply store, of course. Alright, so this is the final look. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up so I know you did like it. And... Um, before you leave, do not forget to subscribe because you know it means a lot to me and I really want us to continue to grow together. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you all on my next one. Mwah.